Okay, so now we're going to look at problem 24. And so this is talking about a drug being administered to a hospital patient. Well, this is effectively the same as back in problem 21 we did a pond containing water and chemical. Same sort of idea of a problem where we have some kind of you know, blood vessel, okay? And then going into this blood vessel, we have you know, an in, and then we have stuff coming out. And this coming out would obviously not be like a little spigot, but rather just absorbed out of the blood vessel. So we let the amount, um, let me just make sure that there's not a pre uh, amount in there already. Fluid containing, okay. So we, we have, going in it's a hundred cubic centimeters per hour of medicine in okay well or of I should say rather the fluid okay but then of that fluid only five milligrams per cubic centimeter of medicine is in the fluid. Okay, well I'm going to call this as before, I'm going to call this my rate and this just some constant alpha. Okay, so what do they tell me here? They tell me that the drug is absorbed at a rate proportional to the amount present and they give me that constant. So they my proportionality constant they give me is 0 0.4 H inverse. Okay, well that tells me I'm going to let Q of T be the amount of medicine in the blood at time T. Okay, so that means that the change in T is obviously N minus out, right? That's just like the definition of change. Well, what's going in? Well, that, that is my rate and then my density in that rate. Okay, now this is proportional to the amount present, so it actually Okay, oh yeah, never mind. Okay, so we have the amount in, that's good. And then how fast is it leaving? Well, that's proportional, K, to the amount present in the bloodstream, which would be Q of T. Well, really, it would be Q of T per, well, yeah, just Q of T. Um, yeah, that's it. So we get to plug in our values to our differential equation. So they tell me my rate is 100 centimeters cubed per hour. My alpha or my density is 5 milligrams per centimeter cubed. So those would actually cancel. I'm left with milligrams per hour. That's good. Minus my K is 0 0.5 for, I'm just going to write over hours, and then that times the just Q of T. There's no value for that. So when all is said and done, that would be 500 milligrams per hour minus, yeah, 0 0.4, I'll, I guess I'll write it hour inverse like that for one line. Q of T. So this is our differential equation and we found that by doing in minus out. Um, yeah, this is a standard mixing sort of problem. So check back on my channel for any type, any other um, questions on differential equations.